Hi guys and welcome back to Making Games with Unity. Today I'm going to teach you what is Null Conditional Operator. So right now we have a scene here. So I'm going to play it. So if I click the update HP button, it will update our HP to 100. And then if I click the, the check name, it will show the name inside our array in index 0. So if I'm going to the code, so right now in our text, do you remember that every time you set a text inside the text object, you have to always check if that thing is null or not. So using the null conditional operator, we can make this code shorter. So to do that, you just need to, of course, comment this out first, and then you can get your text here, and then see this part? I'm going to put question mark, then that. It means if our HP text is not now, it will update the HP. So right now, I'm going to save this, and I'm going back to Unity. So clear our log first, and then we're going to hit play. I'm going to click update. So see that one? This one update the HP to 100. I know that when you look at it, it seems that nothing is changed. But imagine this part of code. You put if HP status text is not null, and then you'll set text. But right now, we don't need that if now. So we just need one line of code. So before I set the text, I put question mark. It means we are using a null conditional operator. This one is telling that if HP status text is not null, I will set the text for this one. So that's the first usage of the null conditional operator. And then see inside here, I, also, I forgot to put this, but this one, if you go inside, this one is calling a custom event. So if I'm going to click this one, and here we go, we got a, a event here. The problem right now is if we go back on our event, so in here in our dispatch update HP, there's an if. This line is telling if someone is listening to on update HP, we will dispatch this event. So right now, if we want to change this and to make this smaller, we can just get this part and then we can comment this out. So no more if again. And then in here, we're going to put question mark, then invoke. So right now, we don't need to put if anymore. See here, we don't need this part anymore. So in here, we're just checking. If someone is listening to on update HP, how I'm going to invoke this custom event. And that's it. So right now, what I do is I just listen to my own event. But this kind of thing, don't do this. This is just a example, a demo. But usually you will listen to this event from the other code. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to play. So what happened right now is every time I click this, it will update the HP and it will up, uh, dispatch the event. So here, this one is, is being called every time we update the HP because we call it here. See, update HP. Click update HP, it will call this one and then inside here, it will set the HP and then it will dispatch this event. Before we have this if, but now we just make it like this. From two, three line, it become one single line now. So I'm going to put it back so that you can see the magic. And then I'm going to comment this out. And yeah, we got some warning because we are editing while the Unity are still running. So I'm going to clear this one. So I'm, I just put it back to the old code. So see this one? It's calling sum, but that, not, that, that is not the correct button. This one, update HP. So, yeah, we click the update HP. 
it updated the HP to 100 and then it dispatched the event. So imagine we don't need this call anymore. We don't need to check if someone is listening. We just need to do it like this. So that's the second one where you can use the null conditional operator. There's a third example. So right now we got a array here. This array is an array of string. We get some Joe Thomas inside. So right now when I click the check name, it will lag the first name in our array, which is in the index zero. So in here we get some if. If name collection is not equal to null, and the name collection is length is greater, greater than zero. So in this line, we are making sure that this condition is true before we actually access the value for index one of this array. Because if we don't do this, we will have some error. So I'm going to go inside Unity again. I'm going to hit play and I'm going to hit this check name. See here, it's showing the name sum on index zero. So right now, using the null conditional operator, we can make this shorter. So I'm going to comment this out first, and then I'm going to get this part. So we we'll just need to lag the name from the index zero, right? So we just need to do something like this. Just add question mark here. So what, what happened here is it check first if the name collection is null and if the name collection have value on it. So if the name collection is not null and have value, it will display it. If the name collection is null, it, will, it won't show anything. So I'm going to save that. I'm going back to Unity. I'm going to hit play. I'm going to click check name. See right now, we didn't check. We didn't use if anymore, but still show the sum because our array gets some value. But imagine like this, I'm going to comment that. And then I'm going to remove this initial value. So right now, in normal array, if we do this, I'm going to go back to Unity, we will have some problem because right now the the array is empty. It doesn't have anything. It is not. It is now. See, null reference exception because we are accessing the index zero and our array is empty. But if we add this here, we won't have any problem or error. It will not just if it will not show anything, but there's no more error. So I'm going to hit check name. See, it's just empty, but there's no error. This is very important if you want to prevent error or crash for your game. So yep, so that's the null conditional operator. So yeah, you can use you can use it for event, for the UI, for the array. And yeah, there's more, but this is the most um, normal one or normal scenario that you can use it. So yeah, if you want to learn more about Unity basics and C sharp programming basics, uh, you can check um, some videos on our YouTube channel. There's a lot of them right now. You can watch them all if you want. So yeah, if you learned something today, if you get something new, and if you like this video, uh, please uh, put some like and please share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that every time we upload a new video, you'll get notified for it. So yeah, thank you guys for visiting our channel and see you on our next video. Goodbye, guys.